So anyway, uh, a few more things about Whitney Houston here. Don't you find it kind of weird? She dies from drowning in a bathtub, and uh, it says she continued to star in movies and contribute to their soundtracks, including the films Waiting to Exhale and The Preacher's Wife. I mean, really, Waiting to Exhale? Give me a break. Like, she drowned, and you hold your breath? I mean, come on. Just reminds me of stuff like this, like uh, Uncle Phil or whatever, James Avery. His last movie that he was ever in was called Wish I Was Here. I mean, give me a break. I, th- I didn't realize he was in the Dukes of Hazard too, um, in 1984. That's kind of funny. But uh, anyway, moving back here. And I guess the reason I even brought that up is because I- I've noticed it a lot with a lot of uh, actors or whatever that die. It seems like their last movie always kind of like, it's kind of like, secretly laughing about how they died or whatever but uh let's see here whitney houston let me find her death stuff here i mean you just can't make this up i i've been talking about this forever and they must they code it so far back um so her death she played her last show on february 9th whatever and then two days later on 2 11 uh she was found unconscious and sweet 4 34 43 34 submerged in the bathtub i mean they even have the 330 in there again that's when the paramedics got there talked about 89th day of the year 330 um but and then they didn't know what she died of until 322 you know the skull and bones number (laughs) i mean even farther down here somewhere it talks about let's see here she was third in mtv's list of 22 greatest voices really why 22 greatest voices why not just 20 and then she was third 322 her daughter dies age 22 um also so she died on 211 just like it's the 42nd day but it's just like 22 right uh 11 times 2 22 seen this number coded tons of times around russell westbrook um this year because of the space jam stuff and the monster but not gonna get into that so i took her the day they found her in the bathtub, and then the day that they found her daughter in the bathtub. Two years, 11 months, 20 days. I mean, so if you take off the zero, it's literally 211 and 211, the mirrors. And then Whitney Houston died on 211. I mean, what are the odds of that? And I'm not trying to destroy you with numbers if you don't know what I'm talking about, but um, I've talked about a lot of these and how they all connect or whatever. But So she had an invite-only memorial on the 49th day of the year in 2012. Um, let's see here. You keep scrolling down. It even talks about an interview on Piers Morgan, February 13th, the first day of Lupercalia in 2012. Uh, shared that she felt the party should have been canceled, saying, I thought, blah, blah, blah. And uh, they're referring to this, uh, some Davis person, Clive Davis, had a party or whatever and uh he kept it going even though with uh, her dead body still in the hotel or whatever and it was a big little controversy thing i guess not big but uh, i mean then it talks about the 54th grammys 54 is love uh, they did a tribute to houston and the 54th grammys of course were on the 43rd day of the year in 2012 it even says she was honored at the 43rd NAACP Image Awards held on Michael Jordan's birthday. And I've talked about why he's significant. I mean, he's been in tons of stuff, this year at least. Uh, Michael Jordan even uh, involves the 52 because he's 52 years old, uh, owns the Charlotte Hornets and whatnot. They even had another tribute or whatever on the 52nd day of the year. (laughs) And then finally down here they say at the 84th Academy Awards on February 26th, so that is actually uh, the first day of Lubricalia on the Julian calendar, 84th, I mean, we've talked about 84, like crazy, Obama's born on 8-4, kind of weird too, um, in the, both the stories of the death, if you read the articles, they bring up Whitney Houston's mom, and her name's Sissy Houston, uh, and I mean, I don't, they just make it a part of the, they make it a part of the story for whatever reason, they want you to, they want you to look this lady up. And, I mean, she was born in 1933, which is very telling. Also, she's 81. She will be 82, I guess, which is 33 years ago. 
But uh, 81 and 34 are the mirrored numbers. 1981 was 34 years ago. 1934, 81 years ago. Um, but also, I'll talk about her again in a second, but her dad, John Russell Houston. <laughs> we just had the guy who shot up the train wreck movie. His name was John Russell Hauser. I don't know. That doesn't have to mean anything. I just think it's kind of weird. Uh, I mean, it's pretty similar, I guess, Houston and Hauser and then John Russell even. But uh, let's look at this lady. Or I guess I just wanted to talk about her i guess a little bit so sissy houston her name in gematria adds up to 52 but the reason why it sticks into my head 52 is uh could be like 5 2 may 2nd is the 122nd day of the year and uh her name's sissy which reminds me of san francisco and this doesn't really have to mean anything i'm just pointing it out because Sissy Houston just reminds me of St. Francis of Assisi, who uh, Pope Francis was named after, who San Francisco was named after. He also died at the age of 44. And then um, the reason I, I, I mean, yeah, so Sissy and then St. Francis of Assisi, I know it's spelled different, whatever, just, just reminds me of that. But she died, or she originally, so Bobby Christina whatever they found her in the hospital or the bathtub on 131 january 31st and then uh her name even adds up to 131 and she died at peach tree christian hospice which adds up to 131 but uh when she was first found they took her to emory university hospital which is 122 and like i said 52 is the 122nd day i've talked about how it's all connected forever now just craziness uh so yeah pope francis is adds up to 122 san francisco 122 um philadelphia experiment pope's going to philadelphia we talked about the time travel stuff and movie or whatever and it's also maybe they're doing some type of experiment philadelphia experiment you know 122 tons of other ones i could go down and list them um i've done it so many times before and this video is already at, like almost a half hour so well I guess um, another, I guess I'm going to talk about 122 for a second. Um, on 2-2, so she died at the age of 22, she was moved to the Emory Hospital. That adds up to 122. So, I mean, that was just weird. Uh, just a couple more things. I'm just going to end it. I'm just kind of going through and researching here and doing this on the spot. So, um, anyway, it says, Brown caused controversy within both of her parents' families when she announced her engagement to Nick Gordon, a man she previously considered her big brother. And big brother is 59 as well. So so here, big brother with all these other 59s. Um, but uh, so basically their whole life was controversy, right? And all you heard in the media was about Whitney and Bobby Brown's drug problems and the domestic... Uh, the domestic problems, the domestic violence issues. I've been talking about the civil war, the domestic violence, all kinds of stuff. I mean, what are the odds of that? So, uh, whatever, going to leave it at this. And um, if I find more, I'll post it. But uh, video is super long already. So, have a great night.